The high school winter sports season is back on in Arizona after a change of heart by the AIA. And today the organization which governs high school athletics reversed its decision to cancel the season over coronavirus concerns, but there will be some new rules in order to play. Jennifer Martinez is live with those details and reaction from students. I'm sure many students are so happy at this reversal. Oh yeah, they are so happy and they they said we're willing to go with the rules, the new rules that they have to follow because of COVID-19. They were actually out here earlier today listening to that roll call. They had signs and as soon as they say that winter sports will continue, erupting in cheer. It's time to play ball for students across Arizona after a five to four vote Tuesday morning, allowing winter sports to be back. It's hard to know that your voices will be heard, but it's nice to know that your voices, our voices were heard and that we did fight for it and got what we deserve. The AIA board allowing sports to continue with strict guidelines. Masks will be required for everyone. No general fans allowed the board agreeing unanimously to allow two parent or guardian per athlete. As for those athletes, they need to submit a COVID monitoring form to show proof that they meet all the requirements. If that form is not exchanged, that contest will not take place. Any school that violates any of the mandatory modifications, including the updates and including the COVID-19 return to play form, will lose access to the AIA officials. Dr. Ross Goldberg with the Arizona Medical Association says playing sports should be okay if schools take the proper precautions to keep everyone safe. As long as they're willing to follow the data and they're putting these, these mitigation factors in and they can do it safely, then yeah, I'm all for it. If they can't do it safely and it's not working, they have to be willing to change their approach or consider withdrawing from it if it's not working. So in terms of fans not being allowed at games, the board says that they will revisit that decision when they start following how COVID-19 numbers are panning out here in Arizona. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Jennifer Martinez with Fox 10 News.